वेलकाम टू बैक माई चैनल सुजय अपन सामने आज के आकटी नतून भिडियो नहीं चले अवश्य हाँ बंधुरा ठीक धरे टाइटल देखे ठीक बुझते पे आजकल भिडियो की विषय नहीं आलोचना करब अवश्य आर पी डब्ल्यू डि एक्ट टोटी सिक्सटीन पार्ट टू गतकाल पार्ट वान पेज वान पेज सेभेन पर्त आलोचना कर आज के पेज एट थे पेज फोरटीन पर्त आलोचना करब अवश्य की की लेखा आर्कुलारे हमें देख तो अवश्य हमें जो टी टी एस व्यवहार कर दृष्टिहन सुविधार्थे कारण अभी निजे एक दृष्टिहन जरा दृष्टिहन सबाई सुविधार जो हमें टी टी एस व्यवहार कर टीटीएस क्यों आज के जे एट पेज थे फोरटीन पेज पर्त भिडियो आलोचना करब से क्यों पेज एट पेज नाइन ए रकम भाव बोलना सम्भवतः तो पेज वान पेज टू ए रकम भाव बोलें क्यों आज के सार्कुलारे पेज थक टू फोरटीन तो चलु शुरू करा जा फंक्शन Three, any person with disability aggrieved by the decision of the designated authority appointing a legal guardian may prefer an appeal to such appellate authority as may be notified by the state government for the purpose. Fifteen, one, the appropriate government shall designate one or more authorities to mobilize the community and create social awareness to support persons with disabilities in exercise of their legal capacity. Two, the authority designated under subsection 1 shall take measures for setting up suitable support arrangements to exercise legal capacity by persons with disabilities living in institutions and those with high support needs and any other measures as may be required. Chapter 3 Education 16 The appropriate government and the local authorities shall endeavor that all educational institutions funded or recognized by them provide inclusive education to the children with disabilities and towards that end shall I admit them without discrimination and provide education and opportunities for sports and recreation activities equally with others. E make building, campus and various facilities accessible. E provide reasonable accommodation according to the individual's requirements. I B provide necessary support individualized or otherwise in environments that maximize academic and social development consistent with the goal of full inclusion. V ensure that the education to persons who are blind or deaf or both is imparted in the most appropriate languages and modes and means of communication. V detect specific learning disabilities in children at the earliest and take suitable pedagogical and other measures to overcome them. VII monitor participation, progress in terms of attainment levels and completion of education in respect of every student with disability. VII provide transportation facilities to the children with disabilities and also the attendant of the children with disabilities having high support needs. 17. The appropriate government and the local authorities shall take the following measures for the purpose of section 16 namely a to conduct survey of school going children in every 5 years for identifying children with disabilities ascertaining their special needs and the extent to which these are being met. provided that the first survey shall be conducted within a period of 2 years from the date of commencement of this act b to establish adequate number of teacher training institutions c to train and employ teachers including teachers with disability who are qualified in sign language and braille and also teachers who are trained in teaching children with intellectual disability 
D to train professionals and staff to support inclusive education at all levels of school education. Page 2. Sec. 1. The Gazette of India Extraordinary. E to establish adequate number of resource centers to support educational institutions at all levels of school education. To promote the use of appropriate augmentative and alternative modes including means and formats of communication, braille and sign language to supplement the use of one's own speech to fulfill the daily communication needs of persons with speech, communication or language disabilities and enables them to participate and contribute to their community and society. G. To provide books, other learning materials and appropriate assistive devices to students with benchmark disabilities free of cost up to the age of 18 years. H. To provide scholarships in appropriate cases to students with benchmark disability. I. To make suitable modifications in the curriculum and examination system to meet the needs of students with disabilities such as extra time for completion of examination paper, facility of scribe or amanuensis, exemption from second and third language courses to promote research to improve learning, and k any other measures, as may be required. 18. The appropriate government and the local authorities shall take measures to promote, protect and ensure participation of persons with disabilities in adult education and continuing education programs equally with others. Chapter IV. Skill Development and Employment. 19. 1. The appropriate government shall formulate schemes and programs including provision of loans at concessional rates to facilitate and support employment of persons with disabilities especially for the vocational training and self-employment. 2. The schemes and programs referred to in subsection 1 shall provide for inclusion of person with disability in all mainstream formal and non-formal vocational and skill training schemes and programs. B. To ensure that a person with disability has adequate support and facilities to avail specific training. C. Exclusive skill training programs for persons with disabilities with active links with the market, for those with developmental, intellectual, multiple disabilities and autism. D. Loans at concessional rates including that of microcredit. E. Marketing the products made by persons with disabilities, and Adult education. Vocational training and self. Employment. Maintenance of disaggregated data on the progress made in the skill training. And self-employment, including persons with disabilities. 20. 1. No government establishment shall discriminate against any person with non-disability in any matter relating to employment. Discrimination. In. Provided that the appropriate government may, having regard to the type of work employment, carried on in any establishment, by notification and subject to such conditions, if any, exempt any establishment from the provisions of this section. 2. Every government establishment shall provide reasonable accommodation and appropriate barrier-free and conducive environment to employees with disability. 3. No promotion shall be denied to a person merely on the ground of disability. 4. No government establishment shall dispense with or reduce in rank an employee who acquires a disability during his or her service. Page 3. 10. The Gazette of India Extraordinary. Part 2. Equal Opportunity Policy. Maintenance. Of Records. Appointment. Of Grievance Redressal Officer. Social Security. Provided that, if an employee after acquiring disability is not suitable for the post he was holding, shall be shifted to some other post with the same pay scale and service benefits, provided further that if it is not possible to adjust the employee against any post, he may be kept on a supernumerary post until a suitable post is available or he attains the age of superannuation, whichever is earlier. 5. The appropriate government may frame policies for posting and transfer of employees with disabilities. 21. 1. Every establishment shall notify equal opportunity policy detailing measures proposed to be taken by it in pursuance of the provisions of this chapter in the manner as may be prescribed by the central government. 2. Every establishment shall register a copy of the said policy with the chief commissioner or the state commissioner, as the case may be. 22. 1. Every establishment shall maintain records of the persons with disabilities in relation to the matter of employment, facilities provided and other necessary information in compliance with the provisions of this chapter in such form and manner as may be prescribed by the central government. 
Two, every employment exchange shall maintain records of persons with disabilities seeking employment. Three, the records maintained under subsection I shall be open to inspection at all reasonable hours by such persons as may be authorized in their behalf by the appropriate government. 23. 1. Every government establishment shall appoint a grievance redressal officer for the purpose of section 19 and shall inform the chief commissioner or the state commissioner, as the case may be, about the appointment of such officer. 2. Any person aggrieved with the non-compliance of the provisions of section 20, may file a complaint with the grievance redressal officer, who shall investigate it and shall take up the matter with the establishment for corrective action. 3. The Grievance Redressal Officer shall maintain a register of complaints in the manner as may be prescribed by the central government, and every complaint shall be inquired within two weeks of its registration. 4. If the aggrieved person is not satisfied with the action taken on his or her complaint, he or she may approach the District Level Committee on Disability. Chapter B. Social Security, Health, Rehabilitation and Recreation. 24. 1. The appropriate government shall within the limit of its economic capacity and development formulate necessary schemes and programs to safeguard and promote the right of persons with disabilities for adequate standard of living to enable them to live independently or in the community. Provided that the quantum of assistance to the persons with disabilities under such schemes and programs shall be at least 25%, higher than the similar schemes applicable to others. 2. The appropriate government while devising these schemes and programs shall give due consideration to the diversity of disability, gender, age, and socio-economic status. 3. The schemes under subsection 1 shall provide for a community centers with good living conditions in terms of safety, sanitation, health care and counseling. B. Facilities for persons including children with disabilities who have no family or have been abandoned, or are without shelter or livelihood. C. Support during natural or man-made disasters and in areas of conflict. Page 4. Sec. 1. The Gazette of India Extraordinary. 11. D. Support to women with disability for livelihood and for upbringing of their children. E. Access to safe drinking water and appropriate and accessible sanitation facilities especially in urban slums and rural areas. Provisions of aids and appliances, medicine and diagnostic services and corrective surgery free of cost to persons with disabilities with such income ceiling as may be notified. G. Disability pension to persons with disabilities subject to such income ceiling as may be notified. H. Unemployment allowance to persons with disabilities registered with special employment exchange for more than two years and who could not be placed in any gainful occupation. I caregiver allowance to persons with disabilities with high support needs, comprehensive insurance scheme for persons with disability, not covered under the employee's state insurance schemes, or any other statutory or government-sponsored insurance schemes. K. Any other matter which the appropriate government may think fit. 25. 1. The appropriate government and the local authorities shall take necessary health care measures for the persons with disabilities to provide. A free health care in the vicinity especially in rural areas subject to such family income as may be notified. B. Barrier free access in all parts of government and private hospitals and other health care institutions and centers. C. Priority in attendance and treatment. 2. The appropriate government and the local authorities shall take measures and make schemes or programs to promote health care and prevent the occurrence of disabilities and for the said purpose shall. A undertake or cause to be undertaken surveys, investigations and research concerning the cause of occurrence of disabilities. B. Promote various methods for preventing disabilities. C. Screen all the children at least once in a year for the purpose of identifying at-risk cases. D. Provide facilities for training to the staff at the primary health centers. E. Sponsor or cause to be sponsored awareness campaigns and disseminate or cause to be disseminated information for general hygiene, health and sanitation. Take measures for prenatal, perinatal and postnatal care of mother and child. G. Educate the public through the preschools, schools, primary health centers, village level workers and Anganwadi workers.
H create awareness amongst the masses through television, radio and other mass media on the causes of disabilities and the preventive measures to be adopted. I healthcare during the time of natural disasters and other situations of risk, essential medical facilities for life-saving emergency treatment and procedures. And K sexual and reproductive healthcare especially for women with disability. 26. The appropriate government shall, by notification, make insurance schemes for insurance their employees with disabilities. Schemes. 27. 1. The appropriate government and the local authorities shall within their economic rehabilitation, capacity and development undertake or cause to be undertaken services and programs of. Page 5. Research and. 12. The Gazette of India Extraordinary. Part 2. Rehabilitation, particularly in the areas of health, education and employment for all persons with disabilities. 2. For the purposes of subsection I, the appropriate government and the local authorities may grant financial assistance to non-governmental organizations. 3. The appropriate government and the local authorities, while formulating rehabilitation policies shall consult the non-governmental organizations working for the cause of persons with disabilities. 28. The appropriate government shall initiate or cause to be initiated research and development. Development through individuals and institutions on issues which shall enhance habilitation and rehabilitation and on such other issues which are necessary for the empowerment of persons with disabilities. Culture and recreation. Sporting. Activities. 29. The appropriate government and the local authorities shall take measures to promote and protect the rights of all persons with disabilities to have a cultural life and to participate in recreational activities equally with others which include a facilities, support and sponsorships to artists and writers with disability to pursue their interests and talents. B. Establishment of a Disability History Museum which chronicles and interprets the historical experiences of persons with disabilities. C. Making art accessible to persons with disabilities. D. Promoting recreation centers and other associational activities. E. Facilitating participation in scouting, dancing, art classes, outdoor camps and adventure activities. Redesigning courses in cultural and arts subjects to enable participation and access for persons with disabilities. G. Developing technology, assistive devices and equipments to facilitate access and inclusion for persons with disabilities in recreational activities, and H. Ensuring that persons with hearing impairment can have access to television programs with sign language interpretation or subtitles. 30. 1. The appropriate government shall take measures to ensure effective participation in sporting activities of the persons with disabilities. 2. The sports authorities shall accord due recognition to the right of persons with disabilities to participate in sports and shall make due provisions for the inclusion of persons with disabilities in their schemes and programs for the promotion and development of sporting talents. 3. Without prejudice to the provisions contained in subsections 1 and 2, the appropriate government and the sports authorities shall take measures to a restructure courses and programs to ensure access, inclusion and participation of persons with disabilities in all sporting activities. B. Redesign and support infrastructure facilities of all sporting activities for persons with disabilities. C. Develop technology to enhance potential, talent, capacity and ability in sporting activities of all persons with disabilities. D. Provide multi-sensory essentials and features in all sporting activities to ensure effective participation of all persons with disabilities. E. Allocate funds for development of state-of-art sport facilities for training of persons with disabilities. Promote and organize disability-specific sporting events for persons with disabilities and also facilitate awards to the winners and other participants of such sporting events. Page 6. 35 of 2009. Sec. 1. The Gazette of India Extraordinary. Chapter by. Special provisions for persons with benchmark DISABILITES. 13. 31. 1. Notwithstanding anything contained in the rights of children to free and compulsory education act, 2009, every child with benchmark disability between the age of 6 to 18 years shall have the right to free education in a neighborhood school, or in a special school, of his choice. 
Two, the appropriate government and local authorities shall ensure that every child with benchmark disability has access to free education in an appropriate environment till he attains the age of 18 years. 32. One, all government institutions of higher education and other higher education institutions receiving aid from the government shall reserve not less than 5% seats for persons with benchmark disabilities. 2. The persons with benchmark disabilities shall be given an upper age relaxation of 5 years for admission in institutions of higher education. 33. The appropriate government shall free education for children with benchmark disabilities. Reservation in higher educational institutions. Identification of posts for I identify posts in the establishments which can be held by respective category reservation of persons with benchmark disabilities in respect of the vacancies reserved in accordance with the provisions of Section 34. B. Constitute an expert committee with representation of persons with benchmark disabilities for identification of such posts, and B. Undertake periodic review of the identified posts at an interval not exceeding three years. 34. 1. Every appropriate government shall appoint in every government establishment, reservation, not less than 4%, of the total number of vacancies in the cadre strength in each group of posts meant to be filled with persons with benchmark disabilities of which, 1%, each shall be reserved for persons with benchmark disabilities under clauses A, B, and C, and 1%, for persons with benchmark disabilities under clauses D, and E, namely, at blindness and low vision. B. Deaf and hard of hearing. C. Locomotor disability including cerebral palsy, leprosy cured, dwarfism, acid attack victims and muscular dystrophy. D. Autism, intellectual disability, specific learning disability and mental illness. E. Multiple disabilities from amongst persons under clauses, a 2D including deaf blindness in the posts identified for each disabilities. Provided that the reservation in promotion shall be in accordance with such instructions as are issued by the appropriate government from time to time. Provided further that the appropriate government, in consultation with the Chief Commissioner or the State Commissioner, as the case may be, may, having regard to the type of work carried out in any government establishment, by notification and subject to such conditions, if any, as may be specified in such notifications exempt any government establishment from the provisions of this section. 2. Where in any recruitment year any vacancy cannot be filled up due to non-availability of a suitable person with benchmark disability or for any other sufficient reasons, such vacancy shall be carried forward in the succeeding recruitment year and if in the succeeding recruitment year also suitable person with benchmark disability is not available, it may first be filled by interchange among the five categories and only when there is no person with disability available for the post in that year, the employer shall fill up the vacancy by appointment of a person, other than a person with disability. Page 7. 14. The Gazette of India Extraordinary. Part 2. Incentives to Employers in Private Sector. Special Employment Exchange. Special Schemes and Development Programs. Special Provisions for Persons with Disabilities with High Support. Awareness Campaigns. Provided that if the nature of vacancies in an establishment is such that a given category of person cannot be employed, the vacancies may be interchanged among the five categories with the prior approval of the appropriate government. 3. The appropriate government may, by notification, provide for such relaxation of upper age limit for employment of persons with benchmark disability as it thinks fit. 35. The appropriate government and the local authorities shall, within the limit of their economic capacity and development, provide incentives to employer in private sector to ensure that at least 5% of their workforce is composed of persons with benchmark disability. 36. The appropriate government may, by notification, require that from such date, the employer in every establishment shall humish such information or return as may be prescribed by the central government in relation to vacancies appointed for persons with benchmark disability that have occurred or are about to occur in that establishment to such special employment exchange as may be notified by the central government and the establishment shall thereupon comply with such requisition. 37. The appropriate government and the local authorities shall, by notification, make schemes in favor of persons with benchmark disabilities to provide 
at 5 percent reservation in allotment of agricultural land and housing in all relevant schemes and development programs with appropriate priority to women with benchmark disabilities b 5 percent reservation in all poverty alleviation and various developmental schemes with priority to women with benchmark disabilities c 5 percent Reservation in allotment of land on concessional rate, where such land is to be used for the purpose of promoting housing, shelter, setting up of occupation, business, enterprise, recreation centers and production centers. Chapter 7. Special provisions for persons with disabilities with high support needs. 38. One any person with benchmark disability, who considers himself to be in need of high support, or any person or organization on his or her behalf, may apply to an authority, to be notified by the appropriate government, requesting to provide high support. 2. On receipt of an application under subsection 1, the authority shall refer it to an assessment board consisting of such members as may be prescribed by the central government. 3. The Assessment Board shall assess the case referred to it under subsection 1 in such manner as may be prescribed by the central government, and shall send a report to the authority certifying the need of high support and its nature. 4. On receipt of a report under subsection 3, the authority shall take steps to provide support in accordance with the report and subject to relevant schemes and orders of the appropriate government in this behalf. Chapter 8. Duties and Responsibilities of Appropriate Governments 39. 1. The Appropriate Government, in consultation with the Chief Commissioner or the State Commissioner, as the case may be, shall conduct, encourage, support or promote awareness campaigns and sensitization programs to ensure that the rights of the persons with disabilities provided under this Act are protected. 2. The programs and campaigns specified under subsection 1 shall also at promote values of inclusion, tolerance, empathy and respect for diversity, b. advance recognition of the skills, merits and abilities of persons with disabilities and of their contributions to the workforce, labor market and professional fee. Alert. No next. Apnara Part 2, page 8 to page 14, English version. RPWD Act 2016, which are full form Rights of Person of Disability. So, if you want to subscribe to the channel, please click the notification bell and click the bell to see the video. And if you want to like the video, comment on the video and share the video. If you are a handicapped person, अन्य और एक टी हैंडी का पर्सन के बिजली दे शायद जो कर बैंड कारण आम्रा जरा प्रतिबंधी व्यक्ति आची आम्रा किंतु प्रत्येक दिन विभिन्न समस्या समोखीन हुई जाते आम्रा समाधान कुत्ते वाली शुष्का हो जाए ताजने सर्कुलर टी आमी तो इडी करेंगे आप अपने जन्नो दया करे आपना शेयर कर बैंड आर जो दे आपना � वीडियो टी लिंक शेयर करें, शायद जब करें। आमादे के समाये दर्ज जन्म अशोक को धन्ना बाद, आज ची नेक्स्ट वीडियो ते तो तो कौन भला थक बन, प्रत्येक के धन्ना बाद। हाँ, हाँ, डबल टैप, ऑन स्क्रीन रे